Hey, it's Dr. Lori. I'm back with more Real Bargains. Real Bargains that are found by people like you all over. I have permission to retell the stories. And, I, you know, I talk about jewelry. I talk about a lot of things. But if you want to make real big money, art is what you should be talking about. I got some jewelry for you. Don't worry. But art is what we want to be talking about. And buying in bulk. So, all right, let's get started. This first one is art. That's right. It's from a video caller who was at an estate sale. He went to an estate sale and he said, I was looking for things. I always buy a group of things. I was going through this estate sale and I put things together. I put them in my pile and I'm looking around and I see this little painting and I already had a pretty good pile of stuff that I was going to buy going. And I was thinking about my budget, but you know, I saw this little painting. It was on a shelf and I went up to the estate sale host and I said to the estate sale organizer, I said, Hey, how about this? And they said, where did you find that? I didn't even see that. Oh, it was over there in the corner, my video caller told them. He said, oh, I missed it. And they said, okay, well, I'm going to add it to the pile. Is it for sale? Well, sure, it's for sale. He adds it to the pile of what he's going to buy. This piece is a Gertrude Abercrombie surrealist work of art. It's oil on board for which she was known. She's a Chicago-based artist who's active in the middle part of the 20th century, about the 1950s, 1960s. Her work goes for a whole heck of a lot of money. This particular piece was sitting there at the estate sale, and the reason why my video caller bought it was because it had an owl in it. He said, people like owls. I think I can resell it. I'm going to get this painting. Didn't recognize a signature, didn't see a signature until he got home, didn't realize that it was signed and dated. It's four by five inches. Now you're going to say, it's so small. She worked very small. It was typical of her works to be this size. And other sales records have actually had pieces this size sell for the amount that I'm going to quote in a minute. A couple of different things about it. First of all, it was framed. It is typical of surrealism with those somewhat eerie kind of images, particularly here, that white owl. And you can see that this particular piece was bought in bulk. So it was from a bulk lot. He buys the lot, and this particular lot, he pays $900 for this pile of stuff. So I said to the video caller, well, what do you think you paid for just this particular painting? He said, I think I paid about $250 for the painting, and then another $700 plus for all the rest of the stuff. Okay, not bad. I said, and really not bad. He said, I was really excited when I realized on our video call and with his research, that this was a Gertrude Abercrombie. She's a big deal in surrealism of the middle part of the 20th century after World War II. What's the painting worth for his $250 investment? I told you about art, $100,000. That's right, 100K is what this piece is worth. It's a real bargain, and wow, you got to be looking at art. I'm going to show you how. Don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter. You can find it at drlorivee.com. This next real bargain comes from an online appraisal report where someone submitted a photo to me and asked me to provide a report for them. And this was the piece. It's a micro mosaic pin by um, Fabrica, which is factory, Fabrica Angelo Pesarisi. And Pesarisi was a well-known late 19th, early 20th century maker of these cameo pins with micro mosaics. So the design around it, very, very highly identifiable. Interestingly enough, when I was doing my research for the online appraisal report, I found a couple of, a couple of listings on one of the online auction sites that had pins just like this one with the same FAP mark on the back that attributed them to an artisan's factory called Angelo Pessa. Well, there is no Angela Pessa. The name of the factory is Pessa Risi. So the people who are listing these Similar marks, similar pieces with that same mark are incorrectly listing them and other people are copying their mistake and listing them with the mistake. So the correct is Angelo Pesarisi from Florence, Italy. The piece was made in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It has a C clasp. I taught you about C clasps before. How did my how did my online appraisal report client find it? Well, she was at an estate sale with her husband. And she was looking at all these pieces, and she said, the people at the estate sale could have been me and my husband. We collect a lot of different things. We love to go thrifting. We enjoy, of course, the hunt. And I was there at the estate sale, and a lot of people were around this jewelry table, this big table full of jewelry. 
So they're picking up the pieces and my husband comes over and my husband says, you're still standing here? Don't do anything. So he goes and gets the estate sale organizer and brings this person back and says, how much for the whole table? I'll give you 60 bucks for the whole table, all the jewelry on the table. And the estate sale organizer says, yes, sold. Oh my gosh. So the husband just undercut everybody at the table. Mm, this is about lots. This is one you want to think about buying in bulk. So she gets everything on the table, and this piece is on the table, too. She brings it home. She goes through the whole, um, all of the jewelry that they bought at the estate sale. And this piece, for the $60 that she paid for all of it, this piece is probably a couple bucks. They paid a couple bucks for this. What's it worth? $250. Micro Mosaic Pin by Angelo Pesarisi. And we got the right information from the mark as well. That's a real bargain. This next real bargain comes from the Dr. Lori class. I hope you'll take a class with me. Um, and this person got a Ziploc bag full of jewelry. It was her first online auction jewelry purchase for a lot of jewelry. She paid $45 for the lot for everything in this one gallon Ziploc bag full of jewelry. And the reason why she bought it was she saw a picture of the Ziploc bag full up and she saw a part of this cross with the amethyst, amethyst cabochons sticking out. The piece is marked Hungary and at the class I was able to tell her that of course this gold and amethyst cabochon um, pendant is actually an ecclesiastical or a clergy pendant. Very very typical that purple will be the stone. Purple stones will be worn by of course members of the clergy. It's marked Hungary, it's gold, it's set of course as a pendant, it's beautiful and each carved cabochon is an amethyst. Gorgeous example. She paid about $2.50 for this particular piece if you break it down with all the other pieces that she got in the Ziploc bag, in the gallon Ziploc bag. So she bought it as a lot. She didn't pay a lot for the lot. And in fact, this piece is a gorgeous example. It's late 19th, early 20th century. It's beautiful. It, as, it checks off all the boxes. And my class member was able to find out that this was a real bargain at, wait for it, $500 is what it's worth. It's beautiful, 14 karat gold, clearly marked with those cabochons too. And don't forget that purple is, of course, the color of the clergy. This next real bargain comes from a video caller, and it's a Tiffany necklace. You can see it, 16 inches long. It's sterling silver. It's got the logo tag, return to Tiffany and Company. And this is a situation where a reseller was helping a reseller. So uh, this one person is having a resell estate sale buyback event, and this other reseller comes in who was my video caller, and she says, you know, you only want $20 for this piece? I, I really need to give you a little bit more than that. So because the person who was selling the piece also was a reseller, she said to the person buying it, who was my video caller, she said, hey, you know what? You know, you can have it for 20. She said, no, I'm going to throw in another 25 for you, and I'm going to pay $45 for this piece because you and I both know that this Tiffany sterling silver necklace is worth a lot more than $20, and it was worth a lot more. So they both knew what they, want, what they had. However, the seller said, I'm done with this. I want to move on with my life. I don't care about the necklace. You take it. So $45 is what my video caller paid for it. And I was happy to tell her what it's worth. First of all, it's sterling silver. It's a very nice link chain. It has the cachet of Tiffany and Company. People love brand names. I've been telling you that. And she got a real bargain. She got a real bargain even though she paid an extra $25. The final total that she paid was $45. Bucks. What's it worth? $400 for the 16-inch long necklace by Tiffany. It's a beauty. And of course, you know, she knew what she had and the seller just wanted to let it go. This next real bargain can remind you of childhood. It comes from a video caller who bought this piece at a rummage sale. And she said she was helping to set up with a woman's auxiliary fundraiser rummage sale that she had with her mom down the shore. And she said, you know, it was our vacation and we would help with this particular rummage sale for this auxiliary of a charity. And we really liked it where I was helping out. And I thought that when I saw this piece, which is a Stife piece, and this Stife piece is a pony. I never wanted a pony as a kid. I don't know how you felt, but I didn't really care about having a pony. Me, I liked fish and swimming, so I cared more about a pool <laughs> and having a fish tank than I did about a pony. But I know a lot of people love ponies. And 
This particular piece is a pony. It's, it's made by Stipe, the German, of course, toy manufacturer. And it's a pool toy and it's on wheels. If you look at the wheels, the wheels will help you identify the date. The armature at the bottom that supports the pony, stuffed animal, stuffed toy, actually those red wheels are indicative of the 1950s and the construction methods that the company used in the 1950s for their pull toys. So my video caller said, I thought it would look great by the Christmas tree at holiday time. I thought it was so wonderful and I had to have it. So as we were setting up before the rummage sale started, I said, I really want that. Can I buy that? And the ladies in the auxiliary said, sure, we want $2 for it. $2, okay? $2 she got this piece for. And this piece is a beautiful example. I was excited to see it during the video call. What's it worth? Well, it's 24 by 22 inches. So it's rather tall. It's rather wide. It's substantial. It's in very good shape. It has all of its original elements. It has, of course, the Stife marker as well, the logo tag that's so indicative of Stife and it's mixed media. It's in beautiful condition. The wheels are all original. What's it worth? $500. It's a beauty and a real bargain. I'm Dr. Lori. That's real bargains. I hope you find your real bargain real soon.